Hey everybody, it's Mr. Olson from the Marine Science Station. I'm here today in the Marine Science Station Aquarium Building, the Barry Cannon Memorial Museum, and we're going to take a look at our limestone rock reef tank and one of the specimens that's in there. And today's creature feature is on this beautiful fish right here. This is the barb fish. This is a native fish to the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. We collected this specimen in one of our trawls with some students uh, a while back, and we brought it back for this tank. He's been, or she has been, a really great addition to this exhibit. Scorpion fish are found in the Western Atlantic Ocean, the Gulf of Mexico, and all the way down to the coast of Brazil. Its common name is the barb fish. Some people call them scorpion fish. Uh, its scientific name is Scorpina brasiliensis. And it's got some pretty interesting features. I'm going to try to capture here with this camera. And so you can see it has some pretty red coloration and some lots of spots. Helps it sort of blend in with its surroundings. They can change color. There have been specimens documented that are yellowish, of course red like this one, brown, a whole different variety of colors to blend in with whatever surroundings they're in. They're usually found in hard bottom communities where there are sponges and corals. And this specimen was collected near a sponge bed off the waters of Citrus County out in Crystal Bay. <clears throat> this animal is venomous. Its dorsal fins, its pectoral fins, and its anal fin all have venom glands and it wouldn't kill you or put you, know, put you in the hospital but it would be a very very painful uh, sting. So if you were to catch one on hook and line or to see one while snorkeling it's best to avoid touching them if you can or, or to handle them with extreme caution. These are predatory fish that are usually lie and wait predators. They like to sit along the bottom and wait for things to come near them. That's part of the reason why they're so well camouflaged. They want to hide from their prey. They eat things like crustaceans, shrimp, crabs. They also eat some mollusks and small fish. So whatever they can fit in their mouth, that's probably what they're going to eat if it's swimming around nearby them. They grow to be around 13 inches long, maximum size, and they uh, reproduce out in the Gulf of Mexico and are egg layers, and not much is known about their uh, larval history and their life cycle, but maybe that's uh, a future area of study for some future marine scientists. Their predators would include larger fish like grouper or large snapper, but if any large predator is going to try to eat this thing, it's going to have to contend with those venomous spines. So. Many predators probably avoid them or can't even see them based on their camouflage. So again, this is the barb fish, one of our local cool creatures out here in the Gulf of Mexico. And our students get a chance to see this animal when they come to visit us at the Marine Science Station. Hope you've enjoyed today's creature feature. Stay safe, be well, stay connected, keep on learning.